hit him with our win. Number three. Oh, oh my gosh. Optimus Prime versus a EF5 tornado. Today, I'm going to be testing the durability of this Optimus Prime mech. Let's get started. So you guys might just think this is your normal um, truck here, which I mean, it does look like it from the outside. But if we get in here, it gets a little bit crazier. So let's go ahead and start this thing and it can actually drive. I mean, it also can tow like a normal truck, which is surprising to me. But if we click one button here, what button is it? Number four. Okay, let's see what happens on number four. It does some pretty crazy stuff. So it switches into this crazy transformer person here and we can literally walk in this. Like, I don't even want to know how long this took or how to even make this. That must have just been so complicated. But it is a pretty cool little thing. We can actually jump in this like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. Um, There we go. So it can get pretty high, honestly. We could definitely jump over like a car or something. And then what do we click to um run? Oh, we can run. Okay, if we hold number six, we can run. Um, All right, we're running. <laughs> it looks so weird. Okay, it looks like the run you have to do like when you're going to the bathroom. I don't know. It just looks kind of weird, but it does look pretty cool. This thing does um actually haul though. Oh my gosh, it does go pretty fast. All right, but we're going to be testing it today. So why don't we get like some type of military vehicle? We're going to shoot at this thing and see how long it can actually like stand for before it actually um collapses. All right, I'm going to get my Hummer. I did build this. It is not on workshop. We're going to drive it towards this and shoot this um automatic like 50 cal or something um directly at its like joints and stuff. And we're going to see if it actually collapses. I'm really interested to see how this works. Here we go. Um, Hummer versus a mech. Um, let's go aim this thing towards him. Where should we shoot him first? Um, we're going to shoot him in the head. You think that'll hit him? All right, shoot him in the head. Here we go. Um, oh, uh, oh, we broke his, oh, that does not look good at all. I think we broke his head. Okay, we need to, let's shoot his feet. Okay, we're going to shoot his feet right there. Will that do anything? Um, it's not really doing much. He's really actually tanking this. Dude, this thing is a tank. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're going to shoot his arm joints right there. Let's see what happens. We're going to shoot out his arm. It should go limp here in a second. Um, there we go. I think we got, oh, um, I don't know what just opened there. Oh, yeah, his arm's definitely broken. I'm going to try going in this thing and actually walking in it. If I didn't break the seat, I didn't. Okay. All right, we're in the pilot seat. Let's see if we can actually walk with all this damage. We can. Um, The arm looks a little bit broken. It is still moving, though. Yeah, this thing definitely doesn't walk how it used to. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, our ankle's, like, broken. Look at that thing. It's just, like, flopping around. Yeah, that's definitely not good. We did get some pretty good hits, but I want to, like, actually collapse this thing. We're trying to aim for, like, the main support beams here. Why is it not breaking? Oh, my gosh. That thing's really just a tank. Okay, we're breaking some, like, parts on its kneecap right there. His entire, like, shin is about to fall off. Maybe we have to aim for the waist, like, right here. That might be the sweet spot. Um, what is that? Is that the tire? Um, okay, we got a tire breaking. Maybe we have to shoot out his stomach. Is that where all the computers are at? Oh, we got a fire. Oh, oh, I think we got him. Oh, my gosh. What is going on with that thing? Um, okay, well, he is out of this area. Where is he going? Is he going to, like, his escape pod or something? What? Oh, okay, I think he's going into the lake to take, like, a shower. Um, oh, that's pretty cool. He's still running. Dude, that thing, oh, my gosh. Um, I don't know how that thing's driving so fast, but yeah, it goes straight into the ocean. Here we go. We're running back out here full speed. I did not know why it did that. It just like ran straight into the ocean after we shot like a co important computer in the chest, I think is what happened. All right. So now what I want to do is we're going to drive this Hummer and it actually going full speed. Okay. This is going to be interesting. We're going to get some speed here. So we're going to go to the end of the runway and just absolutely hammer it. All right, here we go. We're going to floor it right here. Hopefully I have good enough aim to actually hit him. We're going to see though. Oh, oh gosh. Um, I don't know. Here we go. Oh, I just scraped him. I missed. All right. You know what? It's JLTV time. We're going to ram him going full speed in our JLTV that I did make. All right. Let's go ahead and ram him. Dude, this is going to do so much damage. Here we go. Will he actually fall? Oh, uh, we got him, but he, what is he doing? He's like doing some ballerina stuff right now. What in the world? That thing has some like crazy stability on it. I think we need to give it some more speed. I do know that this cannon on this thing can definitely um, destroy that. This is an actual like way larger cannon than the one that we were using earlier on him, but he's like in a ballerina pose right now. Okay. Well, not for long because we're going to end this here in a second. Here we go. We're going full speed. How fast are we going? We're going like 65 already. Oh yeah. We're picking up some speed. We're going to hit this thing going like 80. Oh gosh. Here we go. What's going to happen? 80 miles an hour versus a mech. Here we go. What the heck? How, what kind of, okay. I don't even know what's going on with that thing. All right. It's shooting time. Here we go. Um, all right. We hit something important there. It is on fire. This is a really strong cannon too. Um, oh, he looks like he's breaking again. I think he's breaking self-destruct mode is on. I think he's trying to turn himself back into a truck, but, um, I think he failed. I mean, we did get him. I mean, that was pretty simple. We'll just completely destroy him now. There we go. All right. Now we're going to see if Mr. Optimus Prime here can survive a tornado. All right. Here we go. It is touching down. It is starting to spin the clouds. This is actually going to be interesting. Um, Should we actually get inside of him? That's what we're going to do. We're going to get inside of this thing while the tornado hits. Okay. We're inside of him right now. I am prepared for the worst and the worst is definitely here. All right. Here we go. Optimus Prime versus a EF5 tornado. Let's see how this thing does. Um, It's really not doing anything. I can like clearly walk. Um, oh, oh gosh. Uh, the tornado is directly on us. Um, we are in the 
the middle of a tornado. This thing is staying upright somehow. Oh my gosh. This thing must have like some crazy stability um, hydraulic legs in this thing. Oh, I think we were getting airtime there for a second. We're taking damage. Oh, what's going on? Um, What in the world is going on? It's, it's trying to switch back into the truck, but I don't think it's working that well. It's having some technical difficulties here. This tornado is really messing this thing up. Oh gosh. Um, Yeah, I don't think this thing can survive a tornado that well. Yeah, so I have a feeling it kind of broke something important. Um, Yeah, it's normally not supposed to do this. It's kind of like bugging out here a little bit. Oh gosh. Okay, I'm going to stay away from that thing. Now we're going to see what happens if I shoot this highly advanced tank at it. Dude, this thing's going to completely destroy that thing. I already know it. Let's get this thing started. We have all of our highly classified systems active right now with our um tank zoomable camera right here. Okay, so we're going to do it like right here. All right, full brakes, full brakes. Let's get on our main gunner cannon right here. And can we zoom in? Okay, so we're going to zoom in. Oh yeah, we got a clear view of this, dude. We are going to completely destroy this thing. Okay, so base is how you fire the main gun. Um, should we fire the main gun first? What is number one? Um, Number one. Oh, okay. That's what number one does. Oh, he does not look like he's doing too well. Okay, we're going to do number two now. I don't know what number two is. It's the light auto cannon is number two. Okay, so we're going to fire the main gun now. This thing's going to completely destroy it. I'm pretty sure this is like an artillery cannon. So um, Optimus Prime versus artillery cannon. Here we go. Oh, um, what just happened? Yeah, he just completely fell on the floor. I don't think he's doing too good, guys. I think he needs another shot, though. We're going to aim for a headshot right here. We're trying to aim for that like red thing there. So um, right about there. Perfect. Oh, Oh my gosh, we completely destroyed him. Yeah, he is not doing too well. Oh, another headshot. We have a clear view of another headshot. Here we go. Oh, oh my gosh. We are just destroying this thing right now. Keep firing. Keep firing. We're going to be firing everything at once. Matter of fact. Oh yeah. Did we just launch a missile? What the heck? Does this thing have missiles? Oh, we have laser guided missiles that I didn't even know about. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Where should we shoot this time? Should we shoot at his leg? We should probably do that to kind of like start it off. Okay. So, all right. So we're going to do number two here. Number two will shoot a bigger auto cannon. So let's do number two. Um, um, number two is that oh he's already on fire down there somehow oh gosh okay so that does do some damage we're gonna launch the big one at his leg all right here we go tank shooting the optimus prime's foot here we go um oh oh my gosh we launched him in the air um he's still standing that's actually impressive how he's still standing um should we launch you know we're gonna aim for like the bottom part of his waist this time i'm not trying to like hit all of his computer stuff yet all right so we got a clear shot on his like waist right there. Here we go. We're going to shoot another one. And oh, oh, that did some damage. Oh, yeah. His foot's definitely collapsing. Oh, he is trying to marry someone. He's like doing that marriage thing right now where you're on your one leg and stuff. Okay, okay. Um, Optimus Prime, I see you. Now we're going to shoot his butt area right back here. All right, what's going to happen? Three, two, one. Um, oh, we went right between his legs. He's probably crapping his pants right there. All right, we're going to aim for his butt right there. Here we go. Optimus Prime is getting shot. Oh, major damage. Yeah, that definitely hit something important. He is tweaking now. Okay, here we go. What should we shoot now? We're going to shoot his chest. Here we go. All right, that definitely put him down right there. We put him out of his misery. Yep, he's completely limp now. All right, so if we can't drive into that thing with my um, Hummer that we did earlier, we're going to do it with this thing. I built this, and I know that this definitely can. And um, we have some rocket boosters on the back. So we're going to probably pick up like around 200 miles an hour ish here. All right, let's get ourselves all angled up here. Perfect. I think we're good. All right, here we go. Full speed. This is it. We're going to go straight towards them. We're going to see if we can actually beat them once and for all. Rocket boosters are on. Oh, we got them. Um, oh, um, okay. Well, he did take, did he take any damage? He, how did he not take damage from that? What in the world are your feet made out of? Oh, he did. So he did take damage. It just clearly wasn't enough. Okay. You know what? I found something that can get him off his feet. Okay, so this is my bathtub I made. Um, So we're going to attach this sticky bomb to him, basically. And then we can just reverse and drive away. This thing has a very um questionable camera. Oh, my gosh. So if we just sneak up on him like this, we click one right here, I think. And then it disconnects. It's connected to his foot right now. And then how do we detonate it? Oh, gosh. I think number three. Oh, oh, my gosh. We just sent him to outer space, dude. Oh, is he going to land in the water or land? This dude is going to hit the ground going pretty hot here. All right, here. Here we go. Yep. He just smacked. How is he still? Dude, this guy is something else. Oh my gosh. Uh, all right. We're getting oil spill mission warnings. That's lovely. He is still standing, which means we have to do another one. All right. We have to be careful going down this. Okay. We do um, number two now for the back and then we get the heck out of here. All right. We're going to see what happens. It should be like five seconds or something. It should explode. So any second here. 
Oh my gosh. Yep. There he goes. That dude is flying. The, how much oil does he have in this thing? Okay. Well, there he goes straight into the water, dancing like a ballerina. But dude, I don't know how he had so much oil in that thing. Must have been American made if that's the case here. All right. So now we're going to be driving this questionable um, NASA truck that NASA did build. Um, it only looks like NASA because there's like a radar dish on it, but um, or else it really doesn't look like NASA. Um, we're going to see how bad this actually does damage this thing. Um, I, I'd say it's going to launch into outer space. All right. Here we go. NASA a truck versus mech um it didn't do anything um how do we actually explode this then it's not working why is it not exploding i think we need to get more speed here we go we're going full throttle let's see if this will actually do anything oh gosh as i'm actually kind of concerned right now will this actually explode um no it didn't explode okay maybe we have to shoot at it with a gun that'll definitely um do it here let's turn this thing off all right i highly recommend standing back i should definitely be way farther back but we're gonna um shoot at this thing now um oh gosh i'm kind of concerned what's gonna happen here oh oh my gosh where did it just go um did it go flying or did it disappear? I don't know. I think it actually disappeared. Oh gosh. Yeah. If I look on my map here, I don't really see it anywhere to be honest. All right. So now the moment you've all been waiting for, we're going to be flying this passenger jet straight into his feet. Here we go. Clear for takeoff, full throttle. Oh gosh. This is going to be very interesting. I'm so curious what's actually going to happen here. If our landing gear doesn't break. Oh gosh. I'm surprised I didn't completely destroy this thing. All right. We're going to be putting up our landing gear just like that. And we're going to fly straight into him. We're going to get some speed here. So we're going to go over there a little bit. Here we go. We're going to start doing our final turn here and actually we're gonna ram straight into his feet he is not gonna see this coming i can tell you that all right we're at a pretty insane angle here oh gosh all right where is he at um oh this thing is so hard to fly um is he over here yes he is i see him standing right there all right here we go we are coming in hot let's do first person real quick to actually get this thing all lined up here oh gosh okay don't hit this mountain in front of us here we go we gotta go a little bit lower here turn right turn right here we go. We're, well, we completely missed that. Okay, we're gonna try again. I might have to do first person because third person is like so hard to control this thing. It's just so touchy. All right, here we go. We're gonna be ramming into him. I definitely can do this in first person. Um, All right, we're going full speed straight towards him. We're gonna see what happens here. Okay, we need to go really low. We need to go really low. We're gonna just hit him with our wing on the right side right here. Oh, uh oh, um, uh, we just completely like sucker punched him in the stomach. Oh gosh. I mean, we did hit him. Um, It really isn't looking too hot over here. We have a crime scene going on. Sir, are you okay? It looks like you got punched in the stomach. Oh, yeah. He's definitely on fire. He isn't doing too well, sir. Um, You need to calm down. That's actually insane. We completely knocked him off of his seat, though. That was the only miss. He did succeed in that part, which is good. So, yeah, he's definitely um tweaking out here. But, all right. It's time for the final test, which we can do right now. We're going to spawn in a couple meteors. Um, Why don't we do a couple more? All right. So, we're just going to do a couple meteors. It won't be too much, of course. All right. So, there's going to be some flying stars coming down here in a bit. Um, I do see some sparklies coming down from the sky. Um, oh yeah, they're definitely coming in hot. I'm gonna get the heck out of this area. Um, I'm gonna go over here and watch them get destroyed. Oh, yep, here we go. Um, it's about to get a little bit rainy here. All right, so let's see what happens. Let's see if Optimus Prime actually survives all these meteors. I bet he could, honestly. He is a tank, but we're gonna see. Um, oh gosh, why are they not hitting him? They're, none of them are actually hitting this area. It is a little bit shaky, I can say that. Um, it looks like the world's ending. How are they not dead yet? What in the world? Why are they all hitting the wrong spot? Yeah, none of the meteors actually hit the right spot. Is there something wrong with like my coordinates or something? something yeah none of the meteors are actually hitting the right spot maybe this one oh that definitely looks like it's gonna hit the right spot here we go oh my gosh direct hit oh yeah optimus prime is dumb though where's he at where's optimus prime at oh i think we launched why is there a flying tree i don't even know yeah optimus prime isn't looking too good guys he completely disappeared from existence i don't even know where he is at um there's some trees underwater though what in the world there's an oil tsunami i have never seen that before oh my gosh um this is going to be interesting it's, there's like a oil wave going over land currently this cannot be good for the environment never seen this before but yep that's probably gonna be it for this optimus prime video let me know if you'd like to see some more videos using mechs it is new to me and i want to know if i should do more of it but make sure you guys like and subscribe hit that bell turn on notifications join the discord link is in the description but thanks for watching and goodbye